And so what happens is, you know, a lot of times people will do clever things that feel manipulative to you, but it's because of the anxiety. Now, if you are this person, you feel that everybody can tell that you're anxious. That's what you feel. You feel that every, it's like you wear it on your sleeve. Oh God, they can see how anxious I am. So what happens is most people who are anxious like this, they just shut down. They just try to, you know, show nothing as little as possible. And as I said, they give in as quickly as they can, or they give a little bit. And so what's really important is when you see this, you think you're getting all this great compliance, right? But then what happens when you get to the closing conference, you know, then stuff begins to come up or things are not done in the follow up. So it's really important. It's really important that when you see this, instead of feeling, yay, they're cooperating, <laughs> you need to actually have a little red flag that comes up. And what you, the words I use when I see somebody being particularly quiet or just giving short answers or not really contributing, I'll say, you know, I could see how this could be difficult, you know, to absorb. I would say, help me out, help me. What are your thoughts about this? What are you thinking right now? Now, I can't say the word in the workplace, what are you feeling? Because that is kind of, you know, that has a, a negative connotation in many places. But a lot of times what they're feeling is reflected in what they're thinking. So you want to ask, make sure to ask them for the input and you want to let them know you're not going to leave that meeting until they give you their feedback. And it's really important, you know, to, to that's when you, you ask them and you sit quietly and you wait.